Well guys, I think we finally done it. After years of searching, wondering if he even existed, we have found him. The world's most dialed in man. And in case you're not even dialed in enough to know what that means, let me show you this Instagram video that should explain everything. I'm about to be absolutely dialed in going into this monthly meeting. I've been up since 4.30 a.m., energy's through the roof. Someone's gotta drive the innovation and creativity to keep everyone's money safe. Hey, let's get after it today. A couple of things I appreciate about this video. One, this guy speaks in like LinkedIn motivational quotes, but honestly, I believe every single word of it. Two, I kind of feel like I'm on a FaceTime with him. I'm in the middle of some kind of private personal call with him where he's both motivating me and himself to crush this midday meeting. And three, this man has somehow been up since 4.30 in the morning and his energy is through the roof. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. Energy's through the roof. What if you been doing since 4 30 in the morning dude there's nothing to even do that early i feel like these dudes who are obsessed with productivity and stuff are just making their morning routine start earlier and earlier but like there's nothing to do at 4 30 in the morning like it feels wrong to even eat breakfast that early did you invent a new meal that's like pre-breakfast i feel like eventually guys like this are gonna start waking up for their day the previous day this next video is gonna be like i actually woke up yesterday at 9 p.m to start my day regardless i'm very very impressed that even given how early you woke up, your energy is still through the roof and you are going to be dialed in for today's meeting. So I don't know what this guy's job is. His name is Davis Clark. He appears to have some kind of financial job. And I feel like we've seen other financial guys, motivational bros, business brained bros on social media before, but none have quite struck a nerve with me like this guy. I feel like he's built different. I've seen a few of his videos before, but I had Robert go and source some more. So I could blind react to a bunch of them. And by the end of it, let's see if we can get ourselves dialed in as well. I am curious like what his actual job is though. Cause in this video, it's very vague. And he just says he has to like stay creative. Creativity. And drive innovation. Drive the innovation. To keep everyone's money safe. Keep everyone's money safe. So it's something in finance, but it also involves creative ways of keeping money safe. I don't know why, but my mind immediately goes to, he owns a bank. And in that bank, there's like a giant vault of gold. And of course, who loves gold? Dragons. They love to sit on big piles of gold. So they keep having to come up with new and creative ways to keep the dragon away from their gold. And if that is his job, honestly, you need to be dialed in for that. Dragons are cunning. Dragons are tricksters. So you better be waking up early to get the grind started before the dragon does. Well, let's see if he can keep that energy level up for this next video. Locked in for greatness today because it's time to absolutely hammer some Excel spreadsheets. Whoa, okay. Dude is ready to hammer some Excel spreadsheets. Did he say locked in for greatness? Locked in for greatness today. Nothing says greatness to me like hammering some Excel spreadsheets. When we look back in history at the greatest men of yore, my mind immediately jumps to the brave men and women of this country who have been hammering Excel spreadsheets since this country was founded. Also, did you have to use the word hammer? Hammer some Excel spreadsheets. I feel like that has like an overly sexual connotation to it. I'm about to input some data into these Excel spreadsheets, if you know what I mean. No wonder his energy levels are at an all time high in this video. Dude is horny. Again, still not sure what this guy does. This video does have a lot of likes though, 300,000 likes. So clearly this is resonating with a lot of people and a lot of people are getting pumped up by this. Maybe he's keeping his videos vague enough to appeal to a wide number of people. Lots of jobs use Excel. So there's probably a lot of people out there who are dreading having to go into their spreadsheets today. But this dude is encouraging us to just hammer them. I don't even use Excel for my line of work, but I feel like I want to open up Excel and just, and just fuck my computer, honestly. Imagine we find out this dude actually has like a really dark, sinister job, like keeping the death toll for the CIA or something, and he uses Excel spreadsheets to do that. It would be a little bit weird to find out he's that pumped up for something like that. Just found out about a new foreign coup gone right, thanks to the CIA. Excited to get into these spreadsheets. Absolutely drill into them, pound them, make them squeal with delight. Bad day to be an Excel spreadsheet, or a good day, depending on how you look at it. So fucking tired of this dude. 
dude. The hell? I mean, look, sure, it's kind of like basic content, and we've all seen this type of motivational stuff before, but he's not hurting anybody. He's honestly pumping me up. He's locked in for greatness. He's ready for glory to go into battle with some Excel spreadsheets. What's so bad about that? What, you don't want your money kept safe? This dude is such an L. Okay, Milo chap. What do you do for work? What is your job? What time did you wake up this morning? And most importantly, what is your energy level currently? Because I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near this dude's. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking in the background. The mailman just came and they hate that guy. I'm absolutely locked in when I'm working from home because I always give my best effort and stay focused throughout the day. It's all about being accountable and doing the right things. Okay, I'm digging the attitude. Very nice. It's all about being accountable and doing the right thing. Now this guy is starting to feel like somebody's boss made a fake account with an alter ego to influence his own employees. I don't know about you guys, but when I work from home, I make sure to do actually twice as much work as I did in the office. I stay locked in and I do everything my boss says and I would never think about getting a different job. Is this dude like an industry plant? It's hard to say, cause again, I don't even know what industry he would be a plant for. It's just like work. His job is just like work. This dude is like if there was a work Ken in the Barbie movie, his job is just work. Also, uh, not to be a narc or anything, but it doesn't really seem like you're that locked in right now because you're making an Instagram reel. So I hope you're not on the clock right now, buddy. But the sun is shining in through the windows, which means it's not 4.30 in the morning. It's time to get to work. Jordan? Hell yeah, man. What are you doing here? It's my friend Jordan. This man was born to create shareholder value. You know, it's crazy. We, we hear the expression a lot, get a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And I feel like a lot of people always assume it's some kind of glamorous or creative job where you're your own boss or you're pursuing some sort of passion. But we never think of it as just like a guy in a cubicle crunching numbers in Excel, but I guess that type of guy does exist and he's right here and his name is Davis Clark. Maybe we should alter the expression to be something like pick a job where you hammer Excel spreadsheets and you'll never not be locked in a day in your life. Now that's the kind of slogan that would make Gary V do a high school musical jump. You know what I'm talking about? Where they're like up in the air like this. It's a very specific kind of jump they did in that movie. I don't know how they all knew to do it, but it just, uh, I guess that movie just sort of had that vibe. They didn't even have to tell him to jump like that. They all knew the vibe right away. I might be the best dressed person working from home in America today because I care about what I'm doing. I'm feeling such a mix of emotions watching this video, because on one hand, I'm impressed, and I'm happy for him that he likes his job so much and he takes pride in what he does. On the other hand, I am a little bit pissed that he insulted my work from home outfit by saying that his is the best. In my next video, I'm wearing like a tuxedo just to prove this guy wrong. Your move, Davis Clark. Dude, I wonder if I could start some kind of back and forth battle with this guy just by trying to be more dialed in than him. I do feel pretty dialed in making this video. And honestly, my energy levels are feeling pretty good as well. But I do appreciate his attitude that him asking people to prove him wrong is just to drive everyone to new heights. He's not trying to put people down. He's trying to make everybody else dress as good as him. The concept of, of like dressing up to work from home does make me kind of sad. It does feel a little dystopian for some reason. Getting all dressed up to, <laughs> to sit on your couch. I don't know, I guess it's nice to get yourself dolled up just to, just to do nothing. Nerves through the roof this week because like anyone, I deal with a lot of emotions and I'm just a regular person going through a crazy time right now. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very motivational. I do appreciate that even at his low moments, he's still smiling. He's got a positive demeanor about himself, but also, damn, that was sad. I wonder why his nerves are through the roof this week. Did the dragon almost get the money? Is my money not safe? Did you get rejected by an Excel spreadsheet? Honestly though, I will say this, I feel like a lot of, uh, you know, business-pilled dudes don't really talk about getting nervous or feeling down about yourself. So this is kind of an interesting side to this sort of motivational account that we don't usually see. So I appreciate that about him. Uh, whoever left this top comment, you are a sicko though, so get help immediately. We got some positive comments though, just, you know, trying to get him back in the zone. Lock the fuck in and push that shit down, Davis. You got this, bro. Lock in, just kidding. 
kick the can down the road a bit and go on a massive three to seven day bender. Wait, I don't know about that. You need some milk. That's, okay, that's not bad advice. Listen, Davis, I appreciate your transparency. Even if you have your dream job and you're crushing it and you feel motivated most of the time, it's okay to have days where you're just not feeling in it or where the stress of things can get you down. I appreciate that. And honestly, it just makes me that much more pumped up for when you get back on your bullshit. Let's get dialed in, baby. Whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that their work may be seen. It's on tomorrow, people. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. See, now I'm dialed back in. I'm not 100% sure if that was motivational or a threat. Um, that it did have, kind of have a threatening aura to it, but for the time being, innocent until proven guilty, I am dialed in, baby. Okay, it's a Bible quote. Okay, so probably not a threat. Probably. So we're back on our grind. I'm happy to see Davis smiling. He's dressed quite well. If this did have horror music over it, it wouldn't feel super out of place. Whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that their work may be seen. But as it is currently, I'm liking it. We're feeling good. <laughs> Yo, whoa, this dude just took being the best dressed working from home guy to a new level. The sunglasses and the fedora? My dude is dressed like a financial pilgrim right now. Okay, so his caption is locked in for the exam. So I guess he's taking some kind of exam today. Maybe that's what all of the nerves and things in previous videos have been about. He was nervous about this exam. Maybe he's studying to become some sort of accountant, financial professional. This looks like someone who is about to ace an exam. Exam. He's about to hammer this exam. I see a guy who is dialed the fuck in. People are playing I Spy in the comments. They're so dialed in, dude. This is crazy. Okay, it looks like we got a post-test video. Let's see how it went, guys. Got after the test this morning, and it hit hard, but I like to hit hard right back. Cut to him punching the test. Beat the shit out of the test. Absolutely hammered it. We all think it's a metaphor, but he's dead serious. Ripped it to shreds with my mouth like a dog. All I can say is the results won't come out for like another two months, so it's gonna be a wait. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna try and make good things happen in life. Well, this was five weeks ago, and he said that he won't get the results for another two months, so I guess we probably still don't know how he actually did on the test, but I'm glad he's got a positive attitude about it. He was dialed in for the test. He did lose his sunglasses. I don't know, maybe they confiscated those because they were like, we don't know if this could be some kind of recording device, or maybe the test was just so crazy that he just lost track of them. He was going so crazy in his seat, they just flew off. Do you think that, like, the people who invented the internet and social media pictured this. Because I feel like they might have only pictured this. They thought like, oh, this is gonna be like such a utopian way to communicate and motivate people. It shares success stories. The whole internet is just gonna be like this guy. Just everybody talking about how dialed in we are, how much of a good time we're ha having, and how much we're making the world a better place. I feel like this is the internet we were all sold back in 99. And so I'm happy that there's at least one corner of the internet where this is happening. In Office Friday, the heavy hitters of America are about to be shaken in their boots seeing that the young people are actually motivated to work. In Office Friday, dude, let's go. This is probably Davis's favorite day of the week. He gets to be in the office grinding. One thing that's interesting is I feel like he's actually dressed down compared to usual. Like he's wearing less layers. Do you dress up more to work from home, Davis? The heavy hitters of America are about to be shaking in their boots. I like to imagine every meeting he walked into today, his boss and every higher up in the meeting like shits their pants when he walks in the room and cowers under the desk like a little baby because they've never seen somebody so dialed in. He's got a smile. He's got a a positive attitude and they've never seen anything like it before. They've never seen the young people actually motivated to work. They're shaking in their boots, dude. They saw what he did to those Excel spreadsheets and they don't want him to do it again. Just a normal dude getting after it on Friday. I'm not the fastest, I'm not the strongest, but I'm gonna give it everything that I have. All right, some exercise content. This is very cool. It's been a long week, lots of hours of work as y'all have been seeing but I'm gonna finish it strong and bring everything together today. Have a great weekend, everyone. Keep those vibes going. This video does have the vibe of like POV, you just woke up in the middle of the woods to this man standing over you. You're like, where am I? Who are you? I'm not the fastest, I'm not the strongest, but I'm gonna give it everything that I have. Okay, cool. 
Why are my arms and legs bound? I will say this. I don't think that you are a normal dude, Davis. Just a normal dude getting after it on a Friday. For better or worse, uh, you are not just a normal dude. You are an exceptionally hard worker. You're dialed in. You've got a crazy attitude. So when you stand over us like this, dripping wet in the middle of the woods, out of breath, I want you to say, I'm a, I'm fucking crazy. No, I want you to say, I'm a hard worker. I'm a grinder, baby. I'm a, I'm, I'm a freak. And then you can say the rest of whatever you were gonna say. Say, you know, I'm gonna give it everything I have. Now, of course, with every legend, there is gonna be hate, you know? There are people who really don't like this guy and have it out for him, and so they comment mean things on his videos. So this video appears to be in response to some of that hate. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say. The hate fuels me, but right now, the haters are gassed. They're looking for a Dunkin' Donuts so they can get some caffeine, get some energy like we have. Okay, let's go. He's not gonna let the hate get him down. Down. The hate fuels him. So I guess in a way we better hope that the hate keeps coming. No, we shouldn't we shouldn't say that. He says that the haters are looking for Dunkin' Donuts so they can get energy to keep hating on him. But should we want them to get Dunkin' Donuts so that they do get the energy because the hate does fuel him and he's making the world a better place? Davis, can you clarify what exactly you want people to do? I can tell you one thing though. Davis is reaching his final form. You can tell he's dialed in. He officially, I think, has the most layers on he's had yet and with each layer he does become more powerful. It really does make you wonder, like, why is this guy getting so many hateful comments, you know? This is just sort of like normal guy core. It's like regular job core TikToks, and he's just making the most of the situation he's got. He's got this job. He's trying to see the positive in the situation. And you know, we've seen there's moments where he's not as happiest, but he's trying to make the best of it. All he does is smile go to work, wake up obscenely early. So I don't know why, you know, why there would be people like leaving him legitimate hate. That does seem odd. Seems like those people have their own demons to work on. And honestly, the haters are dialed out. They're undialed. They're not locked in, they're locked out. We're over here getting, getting it done, making money, keeping our shareholders money safe. And the haters are quite frankly locked out. There's a sign on the window that says, sorry, we're closed. No haters allowed. Please continue to share your opinions in the comments section because that's what our founding fathers wanted. Freedom of speech, press and expression is what makes this country special. So whether it's love or hate, I formally invite you to keep sending those messages up to Boston. The birthplace of freedom, where a bunch of farmers and rabble rousers like Sam Adams started the greatest country on earth. Let's go have a Monday, people. Did he memorize that whole speech? Did he write that beforehand, or was that just off the dome? That was crazy eloquent, my guy. I love how he described the founding fathers as rabble rousers. We're a bunch of farmers and rabble rousers like Sam Adams. They weren't great men, per se, because they didn't do any Excel spreadsheets, but they were rabble rousers. I wonder if Davis would consider himself a rabble rouser. Does he rouse rabble? Comment that on his video. Do you rouse rabble, Davis? That's what the founding fathers were doing, man. They were just causing a little mischief. The Boston Tea Party. If there wasn't some rabble rouse that night, I don't know when was some rabble rouse. <laughs> and that's a sentence that made sense. That's what I've been saying. I'm not about to be selling out for money. If someone wants a sponsorship, it better be in millions. I'm not on a rookie contract anymore. Send the Pat Mahomes money this way if you want it. Bad day to be a rookie contract. That's right. Locked in and threw away the fucking key. Dialed in and threw away the fucking phone, dude. What is this about even? Are people trying to offer him sponsorships and he's like, no, I won't take anything less than millions of dollars for an Instagram sponsorship? My man thinks he's a Kardashian. He must make good money at his job, which we still don't know what it is. I wonder if it says in his bio. Actually, I should just go to his page. Davis Clark inspired help others do the right thing enjoy life every day riser locked in for greatness okay so no we still don't really know what he does i wonder what companies are reaching out to him trying to get him to sell out the dragon and what sponsorships would be good for him patagonia of course excel maybe a cellular network at&t t-mobile he could use a signature slogan and say he's dialed in the most dialed in network with the most coverage that would be kind of bomb at the end of the day you know it's not it's not the typical content i usually consume but i do appreciate davis for trying to make the world a better place and trying to motivate people, you know? And I'll admit, I feel a little bit pumped up after watching his videos. I'm not sure how to apply a lot of what he said to my own career, but there's something to be said for making the most of your situation, being 
proud of your work, giving the shareholders the value they deserve. Because life's all about those shareholders, baby. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh,